All right, I got an email here from Pete in Cincinnati. He wrote me, he said, Dear Sam, I've got a female boss, and we're both kind of making moves like we're going to start going out. How do I date my boss? Oh, Pete. Oh, Pete. I know there's nothing quite as hot as a woman with power. When I am making love to a woman, I often picture Margaret Thatcher, gold in my ear, or German Chancellor Angela Merkel's head on her body. But dating your boss requires a lot of skills. Well, let's break it down for you and hook you up. Okay, first thing to do, make sure you're really ready to date your boss. Dating your boss requires a certain level of maturity. So if any of these things make you laugh, you're not ready. Also, realize she knows exactly how much money you make. So if you do that move with women where you try to impress them at first with like roses and five-star restaurants and then gradually transition into carnations and carnation instant breakfasts, you can't pull that stunt here. All right, step two. You guys need to talk about the job implications. No special treatment, no worse treatment either. Pick a good moment to have the talk, like a dinner. Uh, don't have the talk at an awkward time, say, during sex, uh, while she's giving a presentation to the board of directors, or during you guys' divorce proceedings. And step three, don't ever, ever tell anyone at your office. Office workers survive on gossip. It's the only thing that dulls the pain of the man crushing your gentle souls and oiling his capitalist machinery with your blood. So if the word gets out you're giving your boss four and a half inches of pleasure three times a week, it will get around the office faster than an email forward about you're a child of the 80s if... Okay, Pete, I hope that helps. And one last thing. If you break up, look for another job. Or, or at least get a transfer under another boss. And by under, I mean under... God damn it, Pete. Give the office thing a rest. Go meet a woman at a bar or something. For the rest of you, this has been Sam Greenspan with Sam's House of Knowledge. And remember, I'm here for you.